Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at two new through night lights that are very compact and budget friendly. These are the through night Archer Pro and the Archer Mini. Let's check them out. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now, I know flashlight reviews aren't always the favorite of everybody. Some people love them, some people hate them. But I thought these were so economical and so powerful that they're worthy of a good look. Um, these are both from Thrunite. They are brand new for their lineup within recent months or so. And they are the Archer Pro and the Archer Mini. Of course, the Mini is the smaller of the two. But the output on these is just incredible. So let's start off with the Archer Mini, okay? We're going to start off with this one here. Don't worry, I will show you what they look like in the dark. The Archer Mini has 405 lumens. It's got a tail switch on the end there. It is USB-C rechargeable. Let me show you how that works. Really quick, we open it up, and we have a USB-C port right in there where you can charge it up. Okay, So it is tail cap powered. There we go. There's your high and low. And it does have a very nice positive clicking clip there. It is a two-way clip, so you can clip it forward or onto something or in your pocket. It does ride fairly deep in your pocket, you know, so it won't, it won't be in the way. Uh, what I like about a smaller light like this is it's a good option for when maybe you're dressed a little better. Not everybody's going to want to be lugging around a big, heavy, tactical flashlight in, say, a business suit or whatever. But something like that in the inside pocket of a jacket, something like that inside the pants maybe, isn't as noticeable, isn't as heavy, won't kind of change the look of your outfit, won't weigh you down on one side or the other, but you'll always be prepared with a flashlight, which is why I think it's so important to have something like this. Now, this does have a lock and unlock mode. Basically, you're going to press and hold the tail switch to enter the lock mode. Then you're going to press and hold it again to unlock. You'll get into low mode, and low mode will let you access from there, so you can go from low to high. It does require you to quick click twice. Let me show you that really quickly here, because I'm kind of bad at it too. Okay. One, and three times gives you the strobe. So one, two, gives you high. Three will give you strobe. I know you can't really see it, but that's the idea. So you do need to click it twice if you want that high mode. If you just click it once, you're going to get a decent, decent mode there. We'll get into modes in a second there. So you will be able to get some pretty decent light on this. But on its highest, it's 405 lumens. Now this comes with the SST20 LED TIR optic lens. All right. This delivers an incredible 405 lumens up to 87 meters or 285 feet. And it's only 3.26 inches and weighs only 34 grams. So this barely takes up any space in your pocket. It does have nice knurling here. You know, a little bit of a positive grip on it, so you're not going to lose it. It does disappear into your hand, too. So if you need a flashlight that's kind of small and inconspicuous, this is definitely the one for you. All right, definitely small and compact. It does have a long-lasting rechargeable USB-C charging system, all right? Very, very fast charging. I would say this was pretty much close to dead when I got it, and it was completely full within about 45 minutes. So that's really impressive. When you do plug this into a USB-C plug, there will be a red light underneath there that will glow. When it's done, it will glow blue. Um, I have had some really nice through night flashlights, and i got to say, these, I think they're stepping up their game a little bit. They're starting to get up on different, you know, on a level where they're actually competitive and work very, very well. So let's take a look at what this looks like. What I did was I went out in my back room, my little screened-in patio, and I used that. And I'll probably explain it again in the video of why I did it. But it's something a little bit different to look at and gives you a little idea. And being that you'd probably be using this in an indoor setting, you know, this wouldn't be my first choice to take out in the wild. You know, <laughs> I take one of the bigger, bigger flashlights of theirs. But being that you'd use this in an indoor setting during a power outage or whatever, um, definitely a handy thing to have. And I can't tell you how many times the lights have gone out in stores and I've just clicked on my little pocket flashlight and been able to see what I'm doing and where I'm going and everything's fine. So these are definitely handy as a prepper or survivalist for everyday emergencies to carry. All right, let's take a look at it outside. All right, so I decided to do this in a little bit of a different location instead of in front of my house. This is in my patio back here, my screened-in patio. We're going to start off with the Archer Mini. Let's try it out. Okay, so that's on low. I'm going to move my camera here, so if I shake the camera, you'll understand why. There we go. So let's get it on high. Off. There we go. Now that's the Mini. That's this tiny little flashlight right here, you see. <laughs> that thing is bright. Lights up everything. 
All right. So pretty darn impressive, huh? <laughs> That's a bright little light for so, so small of a size. Now we're going to move on to the next one, and that is the EDC flashlight. This will probably be my new desk light, because I always keep a flashlight at my desk. And that is the Archer Pro. Okay, you can see the size difference. Really not much bigger. Let me give you a look around it. Same kind of knurling on it. And you'll hear that fan in the background. That's my solar um, cooling itself off. There you go. Same charging system again. You're going to unscrew up top here. You will have your little USB-C plug in there. Very easy to charge up. Again, this came fairly low. It was completely topped off in under an hour. There's your little light. Hope you can see that. And same system, you know, push once, twice, and three times for the strobe. So that's how it works. Very, very simple. Same lockout system, too. Again, you push and hold, it will lock it out. Now, with these lights, I really wouldn't bother locking them out because they're really not going to get to the point where they're so bright they're going to burn through anything. Now, with these lights, I wouldn't go too crazy with lockout because, honestly, I like having the accessibility of my light ready to go. And um, they're really not going to accidentally activate. Uh, they do ride front down into your pocket with the clip. They do sit fairly deeply in your pocket, too. Again, you know you know how we, we call a, a small knife a gentleman's folder. Well, I'd say this was a gentleman's flashlight. If you're going to be going out somewhere, again, dressed up a little better, maybe you don't want something bulging out of your pocket like a big tactical flashlight, having one of those really cool. Now, the cool part about this, okay, is this has 1,022 lumens and a beam distance of, a distance of 132 meters. Okay, that is super, super amazing for such a small little thing. It's got the XPL2 LED, anti-reflective coating, tear optic glass lens, a little bit of an orange peel on the lens in there, if you can see that. I don't know if you can. It looks clear to me on the monitor, but I can't tell. But a little bit of an orange peel lens in there. Again, this is super compact and lightweight, 2.29 ounces, all right? 3.8 inches in length, takes up practically nothing up in your pocket. Very easy to operate. There's only one button. There's no buttons up top, aside, here. Push this 20 times. Just one button to operate on the back. Again, for those of you used to those, the tactical buttons in the back, you know, while using it with a firearm or something. Very, very easy. Very simple to use. Now, both of these have the Type 3 hard anodized surface finish. Again, double helix knurling on the body there. So you're not going to lose it in your hand. It's very nice grip, but it's not too aggressive where it's going to be uncomfortable. So I definitely like it. Nice pocket clip. Nice pocket clip. Really firm and stiff there. It's not going to pop out. It's not going to bend on you. Again, it is a dual pocket clip. So you could stick this on a hat or you could just clip this in your pocket. Either way, make yourself an impromptu kind of headlamp. So let's take a look at this one outside. Now you're going to see the difference in this one and this little guy really quick when it goes on high. So let's check it so out. So I'm trying this out in the back room here again. You know, my little back screened in patio. Instead of the front there, it's kind of boring. We're going to try the Archer Pro first. That is the Archer Pro on low, and it's still a very small flashlight, as you can tell. Okay, definitely enough to see what you're doing. Uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's way brighter in person. Let's put it up on high. Whoop, don't want to put the strobe on. There we go. Have to push twice. And there you go. Now that's clear as day. You can almost shoot a video in that light. I mean, in the room, it's like daylight in here from this tiny little flashlight. That's just so amazing to me. So anyway, you get a good comparison, and you get to kind of see what it looks like here in the back room. A little bit of a different uh, location to test it out, and I'd be using this more in a, uh, a more compact setting, you know, like a room or my house during a power outage, so there you go. So, you saw how bright that thing was. That is really, really bright. And honestly, on, on camera, and it really never does it justice with, the, with a, with a uh, flashlight. I mean, it's so bright in here, and I, don't, I feel like I'm being blinded, and you guys probably just barely have enough light to see. So, <laughs> cameras never do it justice. That was really bright. I mean, I could have held that light up on a tripod from where I was and sat in that chair, and you would have seen me if I did a video. You would have seen and heard me perfectly fine. So, definitely a cool little light, cool little system. Um, I do like the both of these, and again, it's up to what your needs are. You may not need a 1,000 lumens. You may just want to carry a flashlight so you can find your keys, um, get to your car door or whatever. You know, maybe you work in a very dark area, you just want a small flashlight, you don't want to lose your night vision by shooting a thousand lumens every time you turn it on, then this one might be for you. Uh, between the two of them, I'd say they're both very affordable. The Archer Pro, $39.99, and the Archer Mini, $25.99. Now, these are both have coupons, okay? You know, on Amazon, I'll give you the links for these, they're in my store. On Amazon, under the price, it'll say, you know, 40% off coupon or 20% off coupon. 
at the time of this video, the making of this video, there are coupons for these, so you can get a little bit off on them. They will be at the site. Um, they're not from me. They're from the company. So you have to check that little tick box there and then add it to your cart and you'll get the discount. So you'll save a little bit of money on them. I didn't check to see what they were with the coupons off, but they're pretty substantial coupons. So definitely check them out. I am going to put links down below to them in my store. You can check it out in my Amazon affiliate store. And I got to say, I'm impressed with these flashlights. This is going to be my daily um, desk flashlight now. I had an older, really older Olight there. And I've been looking to move it out and sell it and kind of upgrade to something like this. So that is what's going to, is what's going to be living there for now. And they do come with USB-C plugs. So don't worry, you're, you're covered there too. You're all set. So... That's going to be the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. They will be in my store. You can check my Amazon store down below in the description. It has all of the stuff that I use in the channel. If you're interested in seeing, oh, what did he use? What stove was that? Usually all that stuff is right in the store down below. Below that is my freeze-dried wholesaler link. I know you guys get tired of me saying it, but you can save 15% by clicking the link. And I really think you really want to start stocking up on food right about now. We've seen some situations around the world that are getting kind of dicey. Our supply chains are still broken, so definitely check him out. Um, we do have a contest coming up with his food where you have a chance to win a lot of money in freeze-dried coupons to win to get his food. He's going to be giving away a lot of gift certificates. So definitely check him out. Maybe you get an idea of what you want. You know, you look at it and say, oh, yeah, I like the beef. I don't like that. Maybe I want to order this. And then when we have the contest, which will be coming up probably next week sometime, you can get in on it and see if you can win some serious bucks from them. And below that are my Patriot supply link, preparewithiridium.com, preparewithiridium.com. If you guys have nothing, if you're watching this and just getting into prepping, and maybe you're like, oh, I need a flashlight for everyday carry, and you see this video, Below there, you will have a deal on that in the My Patriot Supply Store, my My Patriot Supply Store. That's preparewithiridium.com. A four-week kit of food is going to be fifty dollars off. Now these are affordable to begin with, all right. So a four-week kit, definitely check them out. They also have three-month kit available. I believe that is one hundred and fifty dollars off as well. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. I want to say thank you to all of my new consultants and delivery customers. Welcome. We do have some specials, so go check out the website for August. And thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.